Hey guys, so I wanted to come on and to do um, the products that have uh, been with me for three years or longer. So these are definitely holy grail items. Um, as said, they've been with me three years or longer. Definitely during my um, my absence from YouTube, um, these have not been absent from my life. So let's get started. I'm a little bit rusty on this whole thing again, but um, let's go with it. And um, let's see. The first one is a primer, and it is um, by Cargo. Oops, sorry. It's by Cargo, and it is the Blue Array High Definition Mattifier. This is very easily found at Ulta. It is a fantastic primer. It comes out in a brown color, but when you um, blend it, it just blends into nothing. It does have a silicone feel to it. I happen to prefer those type of primers. Um, it just makes me feel like they're filling all my pores in, uh, filling everything in, and um, it just gives a great um, canvas to apply your foundation. And let's go to foundation next. My, the foundation that um, has been with me uh, forever and I always go back to uh, no matter what, if there is an event or a wedding I need to go to, I definitely use this foundation because it is um, my tested and true foundation. And um, well, why leave you in suspense any longer? It is the um, a Matte of Velvet Plus uh, from Makeup Forever. This is amazing, amazing stuff. It doesn't mattify your skin to the point where you look dried and dead. Um, you definitely still have some dimension in your face. It does mattify, but um, it's like it's uh, it's a soft mattifier. It um, it doesn't leave your skin leaving cracked and dry. It's it's fantastic. There is not a bad thing to say about this. Um, I have so many foundations that I've been using uh, recently, definitely foundations that I've been loving from Chanel, uh, Giorgio Armani, Hourglass, Cover Effects, so on and so forth. Um, but, you know, if I need a foundation that I have complete faith in, that's it. Um, next is uh, my corrector, and that is by Bobbi Brown. And it is the Bobbi Brown Corrector, and my color is medium to dark bisque. This is amazing. Um, people on YouTube rave and rave about the Giorgio Armani Master Corrector, and that is fantastic as well. I do have that. I've been using that recently. But, um, and also I have nothing bad to say about that. It's just that this, the Bobbi Brown is uh, more easily available. It is cheaper, and to be honest, it gets the job done. Uh, it doesn't crease on me. Some people complain that it creases on them. It doesn't crease on me. It's fantastic. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, next is my uh, concealer. I have a lot of concealers that I've been liking, but this is um, this is the king, and it is uh, the Derma Blend Cover Cream. This actually is a foundation but um, you can use it as a concealer. I have used it all over as a foundation and it's great for that. Um, but it can also be used as a foundation. This is what it looks like. And um, the reason it has all those kind of nicks in it is because it comes with a spatula where you take it out and you kind of put it on the back of your hand, warm it up, and then you can just apply it where needed and that's what I do. Um, it's amazing. It, um, I believe it, it was made for um, people that have been through some type of trauma or covering up scars or hyperpigmentation, uh, vitiligo, things like that. But, um, I mean, if it can do the job for those things, then um, under eye circles, you know, little spots, that's like a piece of cake for that. So, um, it's fantastic. Um, for powder... Um, This is my everything, and it is the MAC Studio Fix Powder. 
this is, like I said, my everything. If you had to take away all my makeup, and by all, I mean every single piece of my makeup. And you said to me, you can have one thing, just one. This would be my choice. This is if you have like 30 seconds to get ready in the morning, you put this on, you pinch your cheeks, you walk out the door. This is covers everything, mattifies beautifully. Um, it's amazing. Uh, my color is NC40, and I would never be without it. I've gone through like so many of those. I, I haven't, I couldn't even tell you like seven, eight, nine. I don't even know. Um, it's one of the first um, products that I've ever used, and I will never be without it. I use it to mattify my T-zone. I use it um, on a daily basis. I will never, never, never be without it. Um, next is. Um, my contour powder. I have spoken of this powder before, but um, I mean, who cares? It was such a long time ago, so nobody remembers. And it is by Laura Geller. I bought this product from Sephora, not this specific one, but I bought it from Sephora originally when Sephora carried Laura Geller. Sephora no longer carries Laura Geller. Ulta does, but this was a limited edition product, so they no longer have this. I have since repurchased this directly from the Laura Geller website, and it is called the um, Shade and Sculpt. It is the best contour powder out there, uh, bar none. So you can forget about the Kevin O'Quan and the NYX Taupe and all of those. Just forget about it because this is the best. Um, this is what it looks like. It has two shades. It's a contour shade and a highlight shade. And you can clearly see that it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. It, um, it, it goes on and it blends out beautifully. Here. This is what it looks like. That's a heavy swatch. When you blend that in, it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me see if I can... It's so slight, that's so light a uh, swatch, but it's gorgeous. It is perfect. Um, the highlighter is nothing to talk about. Like, there are so many fantastic highlighters. This is definitely not one of them. You are not buying this product for the highlighter. I think I've used the highlighter like twice, um, and I realized that it sucks. It doesn't suck, but it's obviously not that great considering I've used it twice and I've repurchased this over and over. So, um, nothing. Two blushes that have made the cut. Um, one is from NARS and it is NARS Sin. It's amazing. It is a, the perfect uh, rose color. For my uh, skin tone, it's gorgeous. I've hit pan. Yay! <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, just a beautiful shade. Everybody knows what this looks like, but Nevertheless, that's a swatch. It's very um, subtle, subtle rose color. It's gorgeous. For a added flush of color on the apples of my cheeks, I definitely go to the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush, and it is in the color A Blushing Bride. And here it is. Oops, sorry. Here it is. Similar to NARS Sin. Um, but it just has a little bit of a, a glow to it. It's gorgeous. Um, what more can you say? The combo of the two, uh, sin on the kind of on your cheekbones and uh, blushing bride on the apples is the perfect combo. It is my combo of choice <sighs> so, so often. Um, I just... I love it. You can't say anything wrong about it. It just brightens your skin up. You look healthy. You glow. It is divine. So those are my two blushes. Um, eyeshadow. Let's go on with eyeshadow. Oops, sorry. Um, eyeshadow. Definitely the best eyeshadow on... Oops, 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 sorry. Definitely the best eyeshadow is by NARS. And um, this is so talked about that it should be no surprise. The, you know, you should all know what I'm going to say. But just in case you do not, it is NARS Galapagos. It's gorgeous. It is a beautiful chocolate brown with gold shimmers in it. Um, 
don't be afraid of the shimmers. Do not be afraid of the shimmer. It blends into nothing. It is, let me find a clean finger, stunning. It is the prettiest, prettiest crease color. You can put it all over and blend it out for a smoky eye. It's gorgeous. There is no better crease color. None. Um, what video would be complete without me talking about the king of palettes? If you could only have a one palette, ask yourself if you're watching this, what would that one palette be? I would take a bet. A lot of us, almost all of us, but so many of us, so, so many of us would say, this is the palette. And it is the Naked, oops, sorry, it is the Naked Original uh, palette. It has the best colors in it. It's not Naked 2, it's not Naked Basics, it's not any Chanel quad, it's not your Tarte shadows, it's not the Urban Decay book of shadows. It is the Naked original palette. It is amazing. It has the best warm neutral colors. It has amazing highlight colors. It has a beautiful like gray slash brown color and gunmetal. It's stunning. You don't need me to go on and on about this because it's just who needs me to talk about this but you've all seen it. I mean it is gorgeous. Stunning. So I'm not going to go on about that because um, everybody watching this knows about it. I'm going to end off with my three favorite lip um, products. And if you've been watching my videos, you know about these three products. But again, <laughs> that was such a long time ago that everybody needs a refresher on my favorites. So let's go. Um, the, the color of lip liner, which I would never be without, is Max Cork. Um, that's the color. Oh, maybe I should show you. And you'll see a trend here. Um, everything is chocolate brown. I've come to the realization that I need some type of a brown um, as a lip liner. Um, it makes everything blend together. I have so many beautiful pink lipsticks, peach lipsticks, nude lipsticks. Um, and if I use the lip liners that kind of go with them, um, something is amiss. It just, it's too bright. It doesn't, something is amiss on my face. If I use those same beautiful colors with cork as a lip liner, then everything seems to work. Um, with some of the lighter colors, I don't fill in my lips. With some of the darker colors, I fill in the edges of my lips. It just makes everything come together. It is a beautiful uh, lip liner, and for my complexion, it is the right lip liner. Um, for lipstick, my favorite lipstick has always been, probably always will be, is Max Coco Nutty. It is gorgeous. Let's see. Why do people do that? Why, why do they show you this? I mean, does it really matter? I'm telling you it's Max Coco Nutty. Do you really need me to show you that? Do you distrust me so much that you need to see a label? I don't know why people do that. I really, I believe. So anyhow, it's Max Coco Nutty. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit mangled. I'm sorry. It is a beautiful uh, bronze gold color. It's stunning. I wear it every single time I need to go out at night. Um, and you want a little bit of a deeper color, a richer color. It's stunning. Gorgeous. Um, finally, uh, my a lip a gloss of choice. This is a lip gloss that came in a gift set from Ulta years ago. I have since repurchased it from Amazon since they no longer sell it at Ulta. And it is by Lip Fusion. It's Infatuation. It is in the color in the flesh. This is what it looks like. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love. It is the best lip gloss. It's gorgeous. Um, I don't know about any plumping action. There is definitely no burning or tingling. I despise those uh, lip products um, that make your lips burn. I'll do a swatch for you so you can see it.
there it is. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's gorgeous, and the three of them together is amazing. Um, that lip gloss goes over anything. I have so many other lipsticks that I put that on top of. It makes everything look amazing. So anyhow, those are my tried, tested, and true holy grails that have been with me for absolutely ever, um, but definitely during my absence from YouTube. So um, I thought I'd come on and to do that for you guys. As I said, that would be my first video. Um, there's many videos I want to do. Um, I'm thinking about my July favorites, but I think that's a little bit... Um, I don't know. Um, I definitely have favorites that, you know, are newer, which if you'd be interested to see, I can definitely do. Um, but otherwise, what would you like to see? You tell me, and I will do those videos. And um, that's it. I had so much fun coming back. I've missed you guys so, so much. Um, but I'm happy to be back, and I will see you all again in my next video. Thanks for watching, and have an absolutely beautiful day. Bye-bye.